From all indications, artificial intelligence has come to stay and will be a major force in how the world is run in the future. With this expectation comes interest among young entrepreneurs who have AI startup companies, and the good news for them is that OpenAI has announced that it will give these startups around $1 million each and early access to its systems. Keep watching this video to get the full scoop. What you need to know? OpenAI, the San Francisco-based lab that developed GPT-3 and DALL-E2 and other AI systems, has unveiled a new initiative to provide funding and early-stage AI businesses with access to OpenAI technology and resources. The cohort, dubbed Converge, will be funded by the OpenAI Startup Fund, according to OpenAI. The $100 million entrepreneurial tranche, supported by Microsoft and other partners, was first announced in May last year. The roughly 10 founders selected for Converge will receive $1 million apiece, access to office hours, seminars, and other events with OpenAI staff for five weeks, early access to OpenAI models, and programming tailored to AI companies. In a blog post shared with TechCrunch ahead of the announcement, OpenAI writes, quote, We're excited to meet groups across all phases of the seed stage, from pre-idea solo founders to co-founding teams already working on a project. Prior experience working with AI systems is not necessary and applicants from various backgrounds, disciplines, and degrees of experience are welcome to submit applications. The application deadline is November 25th. However, OpenAI states it will review applications for subsequent cohorts after that date. What are the terms for Converge? When OpenAI first introduced the OpenAI Startup Fund, it stated that people who received funding from the program would have access to Microsoft Azure resources. However, we'll need to hear more from OpenAI to get the full specifics of Converge, including the equity agreement. Surprisingly, there aren't many incubator programs specifically targeted at AI startups outside of Converge. A small accelerator run by the Allen Institute for AI was introduced in 2017 and offered up to a $500,000 pre-seed investment and up to $450,000 in cloud computing credits. The AI Fund, a $175 million tranche to launch new AI-centered businesses and companies, is led by Andrew Ng, the founder of Google. Google Brain. Additionally, the AI grant, which offers up to $250,000 in cash and $250,000 in Azure cloud credits to start developing AI native products, is funded by Nat Friedman, formerly of GitHub, and Daniel Gross, formerly of Apple, profiting from the AI sector. With Converge, OpenAI is undoubtedly attempting to profit from the lucrative AI market. According to the information, OpenAI reportedly is in talks with Microsoft to raise funding at a valuation of close to $20 billion dollars has agreed to lead the financing of Descript, an AI-powered audio and video editing app, at a valuation of about $550 million. While Stability AI, the company promoting the development of generative AI systems including Stable Diffusion, recently raised $101 million, AI startup Cohere is reportedly negotiating a $200 million round led by Google. Given the enormous costs, such as personnel and computing, the size of the largest AI startup financing rounds doesn't always correlate with revenue. Stability AI estimates that training Stable Diffusion alone costs about $600,000. However, the fact that investors are still ready to write big checks to these businesses, as evidenced by Inflection AI's $225 million funding round, Anthropic's $580 million in fresh funding, and so on, demonstrates that they are confident in a future return on investment. Why generative AI is suddenly on everyone's lips? It's an open field. Suppose you've been closely following the development of OpenAI, the business led by Sam Altman, whose neural networks can now write original text and produce original images with astounding ease and speed. In that case, you're certainly no stranger to generative AI. An interview with James Courier, a five-time founder and current venture investor who co-founded the company NFX with several of his series founder friends, may be helpful if, on the other hand, you have been obliquely following the company's development and the increasing traction that other so-called generative AI companies are suddenly gaining. Courier belongs to the group of those who are actively monitoring the development. NFX has made multiple investments in generative tech, as he refers to it, drawing more of the team's attention each month. Courier believes that the buzz surrounding this novel AI development presents a huge opportunity for the first time in a long time. According to him, these Cambrian outbursts occur every 14 years. In 1994, one circulated the internet. In 2008, one was focused on smartphones. And in 2022, we'll witness another. The AI algorithm 
problems, the other AI algorithms set were more like diffusion algorithms, which looked at vast amounts of stuff and produced something new. Thankfully, algorithms have improved since then, but more crucially, because we now have more processing capacity, the content corpora we've been looking at have grown. What's occurred is that these algorithms are writing Moore's Law and have suddenly been able to produce results that resemble these produced by humans, thanks to improvements in storage, bandwidth, and computing speed. As a result, the text it will write and the drawing it will create will initially appear very similar to what a human would produce. It's not a novel concept, but it has crossed that threshold, and because of this, everyone who has witnessed its abilities has been impressed thus far. So was it computing power that changed the game? AI experts think that computer power didn't change abruptly, instead it changed gradually until we could make sense of it because of how well it was produced. The answer to the question is no, since the algorithms have been similar, but even though these diffusion algorithms have improved a little since, the real issue is processing speed. Does AI Dungeon require a smaller team than other game makers? Undoubtedly, having a smaller team is one of the significant benefits that AI Dungeon has over its competitors. They don't need to spend that much money to store all that data, and they can create tens of games experiences that all use it with a tiny team of workers. Though you'll get fundamentally different game experiences from incorporating AI into games, as opposed to adding AI to existing games, the aim remains to add generative AI to previous games so your non-player characters characters may say something more fascinating than they do now. Will this technology eventually reach a plateau? If technological advancements keep pushing forward, then no, it will always get better little by little. Since they're already getting very good, the variances between the increments will only get less with time. But OpenAI wasn't open, which is a significant talking point. Yes, they created an incredible tool, but it wasn't free. It costs a lot of money. With this in mind, organizations like Stability AI and others got together and created open source versions of the tool, and around two or three months later, the cost decreased significantly. Since the OpenAI GPT-3 model was only the first, all of this generative technology will not be based solely on it. Now that the open source community has reproduced a large portion of their work, they probably need to catch up on quality. There will be a fierce price rivalry and a proliferation of these models that compete with OpenAI since the open source versions are just a third, fifth, or 20 times as expensive as OpenAI, and you'll like likely have 5, 6, 8, or perhaps 100 in the end. Then, original AI models will be constructed on top of those. You may therefore have an AI model that is highly focused on creating poetry, an AI model that is highly focused on creating anything from visual representations of images, or an AI model that is highly focused on creating things like sales letters. Whatever the case, a substantial layer of these purpose-built specialist AI models will be available to you. How dependent will the world be on AI in 2023? AI is predicted to be worth $42 billion by 2023. This means that AI will soon become more common than ever and take over many of our daily duties. According to other reports, AI will become the most revolutionary technology in human history by 2023 when it has advanced to that stage. Google CEO Sundar Pichai has stated that it will impact human advancement comparable to fire and electricity. Is it possible that AI robots will replace human employees? Today, this is the biggest worry of many working professionals. The challenge is how to use these tools to increase value rather rather than replace workers in the workplace, despite algorithms and software starting to mimic the work that humans do. With that being said, how much impact do you reckon AI will have on your work shortly? Kindly tell us in the comment section. And if you find this video entertaining, it'll be nice if you like and share it so your friends can get this info too. Last but not least, subscribe to the channel and please tap the notification bell to keep getting more interesting content like this. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.